about time. It's a leg day now. So leg days be my favorite day. I was excited for this workout. We got the beanie on today. Y'all know when we wear the beanie, we go absolutely insane wearing this beanie. If y'all wanna know where I get this beanie from, it will be in the link in the description. Other than that, let's go rack up this weight and then we will eventually move on to leg extensions. Soon we'll be doing barbell squats, but that's not until we actually built the squat rack. But very soon, you will be seeing me do barbell squats in here. Very soon, just not right now, because nobody feels like building that. A little three place on leg extensions, some lightweight, and just go really slow and controlled. Then we're gonna do this for two sets till failure. That's how you go beyond failure. We got, let's see. Yeah, we got one more set to failure. Why well, didn't even have to think about that? We always do two sets to failure. But usually we, we used to drop set and go like a lot. We used to always start with like five, six plates on the uh, leg extensions. And we used to always just go heavy at first and then drop set and then go light. But I feel like the best thing I could do is use medium lightweight like this and just do two sets to failure with it. Instead of just going and ego lifting. Well, I wouldn't say ego lifting because I'm able to do the weight with full range of motion and go all the way up. Just going like too heavy. Like a weight that I could, you know, hit. But this is a weight I can't hit with like perfect form after like seven reps. Like after seven reps, I can't hit the weight with perfect form. But the first seven reps are good form. One more set to a failure, but this time we're gonna go heavier because I feel like it took way too long for me to reach failure there. We should have did like four plays. Let's go as hard as we physically can again. Let's go. Third set. Take these plates off. All the plates on the floor is gone. I'm gonna get the belt 
then we're gonna do some weighted Bulgarian squats while holding dumbbells. To test his weight and do Bulgarian squats. Do same amount of reps on our right leg, and then we're gonna move on to body weight. Well, not body weight. We're gonna move on to Bulgarian squats without the uh, weight, and we're gonna go really slow. Doing Bulgarian squats with, with that weighted dip belt really makes everything interesting, but you're able to go heavier if you don't got heavy dumbbells. Now that our legs are pretty sore, we can now use the dumbbells. Barely walk and stand. And that's really the reason why I'm sitting in this chair right now. The talk. Well, not the chair, this bench, the talk. It's because I am sore. I did not expect myself to work this hard today. I've said this in so many different YouTube videos, so many different workouts, so many different days. And I'm gonna keep on saying it because there'll be so many days where I don't expect myself to work out this hard. There'll be so many days where I expect myself just to wake up and never get out of bed. But I force myself to do it. And I force myself to work hard and grind every single day no matter how I feel. Even on school days, even on weekends, no matter what it is, holidays, whatever. <laughs> Christmas, Thanksgiving. Whatever it is, Thanksgiving break, Easter break, I don't care what it is. We still got work to do every single day. Ain't nothing going to change that at all. Nothing will. Let's load these leg extensions. Let's add like 90 pounds to the rack. Two sets to the ferry with that. Then 100 calf raises. Then we're going to flex the leg pump. 
our glutes is burning badly. so happy right now training is honestly the best part of my day it makes my days way better see you go through the pain right go through the pain and as much as you don't like going through the pain as much as like it hurts so bad it's fun to just do like I can't explain it and then as soon as you're done with the workout you feel so tired, drained, and relaxed. You just feel so good. Like no matter how bad you feel, you could you could have felt very exhausted, tired, and lazy that day. But as soon as you get done working out, you're gonna have so many so much energy. You just gonna lay down. If you close your eyes, let's say if you just get done with a very intense workout like this now, and you go to sleep. Promise you, 10 times out of 10, you're going to have the best nap of your life. I'm telling you, training after, not training, sleeping or resting or laying down in your bed after a very intense training session or just training in general, and when you're done, you just go do whatever you want to do. You feel so amazing right after. I'm trying to put y'all on. People think smoking, vaping, drinking, and all that is, you know, a way to relax yourself, a way to make you feel better, which is, I agree, there, it, those are ways that people could make themselves feel better, but those are bad alternatives, though. The best way to make yourself feel better is intense training. It could be basketball, football, soccer, uh, bodybuilding, anything, any type of training. It's going to make you feel better, make you feel good, make you feel like, dang, I really just worked this hard today. You're going to feel good about yourself. You're going to feel like you work hard. When you want to make, when you want to be proud of yourself, when you want to make yourself and God proud, and those of you that's probably thinking, well, Antoine, how do you know smoking, drinking, and whatever that makes people feel better? Well, i never done it before, obviously. But, you know, people do it for a reason. They just don't do it just to do it. There's people that have mental health problems, depressed, uh, anxiety, et cetera, whatever that. They use those as a coping mechanism. They use that to cope. They use smoking, drinking, vaping, and all that to make themselves feel better. That's how I know. And just by hearing people on social media say, you know, smoking and drinking and vaping and all that makes makes them feel better. It's the reason they can even, you know, function in this day of life, which is sad. Because there's so many better things they could do to achieve peace and make themselves feel better. Not by doing unhealthy things and degenerate, degenerate things. Things that you really do not need. And I don't got nothing against people that smoke, vape, or whatever. I don't care. That's not my business. I don't care about people that do that. If someone around me smoking or vaping and drinking, I don't care. They could do whatever they want. I ain't concerned about them. I ain't going to sit there and go there and tell people, stop vaping, stop drinking, stop smoking. Because I don't. I genuinely do not care. I don't care about nobody but myself and God. I do not care. So if y'all do it, keep on going. I don't care. But you won't see me doing it. 
This this is me personally. You won't see me doing it. How can I tell you? Let's do these 100 calf raises. You will never even see me touch a vape or touch anything that got anything to do with drugs and alcohol. Or today, we gonna hot the pump. We not gonna flex the pump today. But next leg day, we will. If y'all new to the leg days, if y'all just now find out I might be doing legs, which is surprising because there's so many people out there that genuinely think I skip leg day when I train legs literally every week for years. I don't skip legs. But if you're a person that just came across this video, the first YouTube video you ever saw of me, yes, I train legs. And usually I flex the pumps, but I just, I just don't feel like doing it today. If you want to see what my legs look like, just scroll a couple videos down and there's a leg day of me flexing my legs. Make sure you look at the very recent one because that will tell you, that will show you how my legs look like, you know, currently, like right now. I'll see you on the next lift.